Hey gang, welcome back for another video here on Joe Chem. All right gang, so I know that last video there was a lot of newness, but what are quinones? And we're using this phenoxide ion? Well, we're kind of disrupting aromaticity. What's going on? Well, and I know you all followed it because you're organic G's. However, then all that craziness is gonna pay off because this video on the Colby reaction is gonna be super duper short. So all the Colby reaction does is you take phenol and with some base, some carbon dioxide and then acidic workup, you basically just add a carboxylic acid in ortho to your hydroxy group in your phenol. So let's take a look at as to how that happens. So no surprise in this first step, we have basic conditions, phenol, extremely acidic. So hydroxide is going to deprotonate and we're going to have a phenoxide ion. And we've seen that with our phenoxide ions, I can draw resonance like this. We can activate the different positions in our benzene ring, specifically here, the ortho position. I draw resonance, bam, we got a phenoxide ion. And more specifically, one that shows our ortho position is rearing for attack. Well, enter in carbon dioxide. Carbon is sporting a pretty hard partial positive charge here. So what's going to happen is this carbon that's ortho to our carbonyl in the ring is going to attack carbon dioxide, and then we are going to tack on, you know, a, what is going to be a, like a carboxylate, right? Because when I redraw this ring, we won't have, we won't have negative charges, a negative charge on the oxygen right here, okay? Cool. So there we go. So now then we're going to get to our acidic workup. So this acidic workup is going to do two things for us, right? It's going to help us restore aromaticity to the ring, get our phenol-ishness back, and it's going to protonate our carboxylate up to a carboxylic acid. So uh, we can do it one at a time, but here's hydronium. doesn't matter. I would, you know, if you're using H2SO4, hydronium, whatever. So let's get our carboxylic acid back, and realistically, these Things probably happen at the same time, but we're just going to go once at a time. We got this and this. Okay, cool. Got our carboxylic acid. And then all that's going to happen here is water is going to help us. So we're going to, I'm getting water and I'm going to draw hydronium over here because the water is going to help rip this proton off, restoring the aromaticity in our ring. But then I have to avoid breaking the octet rule here, so this oxygen is going to take one of the electron pairs there. And all of that does, I'm going to try and not block anything, is we get our aromaticity back, we get our phenolishness back, and we get this carboxylic acid. So nothing crazy new here. I think, if anything, the previous video was this on steroids, right? All we're doing is creating a phenoxide ion by doing a deprotonation. On, from the ortho position, we're going to attack CO2, super easy, simple attack, and then just acidic workup. So get our, you know, protonate the carboxylate that's been newly introduced to a carboxylic acid, and then at the same time, we're going to deprotonate the alpha position, just do some, you know, a little rearrangement to get the aromaticity back, which then restores our phenol character. Okay. Super easy reaction. I would assume the Colby reaction would be a complete reaction question. Nothing major here. I can't imagine this would ever pop up mechanistically, but if it does, you're all ready for it. All right, gang, I told you it was gonna be a short one. I'll see you in the next video.